Good morning guys, my name is Chris Barocci and I definitely have a good morning. If you wonder why, well me and the guys from Toman are doing something really cool today. Uh, but what's it gonna be? Well it's going to be a... Road trip to Guitar Point! Yo! Now, in case you're wondering, what is Guitar Point? Well, it's a really cool vintage guitar store here in Germany, at Frankfurt. And um, they were cool enough to invite us for a video shoot. So uh, we're on our way, and it's gonna be probably a really interesting day today. And I hope this lorry will not kill us. Thank you. Hi man. Hi. Where are we at? We are in some residential area in Germany. <laughs> yeah. But more importantly, we're at Guitar Point Vintage Guitars. Woo! Oh my god. I will just let you see this. This is pretty. Okay. Um, there are words that I'm not allowed to come out of my mouth that I'm thinking. Naughty you wanna, words. You want to keep it uh, tidy? PG-13. I have to be honest, I now I understand people walking into the Toman store. Like a customer is coming in, first thing they do is like, you know, walking down the stairs, um, turning to the left to the guitar department, and there's this huge guitar wall and the whole, you know, the whole guitar hall, basically, with, you know, a thousand guitars or something. And they're overwhelmed and they're, you know, shooting selfies and pictures and, you know, cell phones everywhere. Like, oh my God, look at this. And we are like, you know, we're used to it. So um, it feels natural to have so many really good guitars around us. But to be honest, I think now I get it. There's so many precious, sweet things here around that I don't even know where to look. I know it's you know a lot of blabbering about vintage guitars. Ooh, so cool! It's just a piece of history. It's like going yeah. into a, a museum that you're actually interested in. You know, like. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I was trying to explain to my girlfriend about the um, the prices of these things. For me, it's history, but it's also desirability. And like, this is a whole video on, on itself. But is it? Yeah. Is it right that these guitars cost that much? That oh, absolutely. It? Absolutely, they should. And not because they are so much more special than a current good guitar. It's just the fact that they're it's so rare, yeah. that they're a piece of history, and yeah. you know, they've been around for 40, 50, 60 years or longer, you know, if it's like a 1930s Martin or something. It's, it's just special, and we should definitely appreciate items like these and uh, they will have their price of course because they are collectibles yeah. and I think that is how it's supposed to be we're doing the preparations right now Andy I have an important question What's up? are you ready <laughs> good answer <laughs> Simon hey. is the guy probably you could tell yeah, Mr. Well. Gu guitar points uh, Detlev and him are doing an awesome job grabbing crazy guitars uh, you travel a lot to the US right yeah Detlef, Detlef's there. traveling a lot to the US and, okay. and buys guitars and I join him every once in a while and yeah so we uh, it's a tough job to get all these beautiful guitars in the store into Germany yeah course, yeah so. Wow, I, I can imagine so let's move on and check out other stuff they have some 
small things here, useful stuff, you know, vintage strings. <laughs> New strings, uh, probably, I guess, I hope. And some really interesting smaller brands right here and everything. And the guys are in that room. Let's go inside there and see what they're doing. They are preparing our recording room, which is the acoustic bass room. Hello. Acoustic basses? Acoustic bass is no one in the what? Check out the pedal board of doom. <laughs> so Andy, uh, what are we doing here today? We are going to shoot uh, well, we're just some stuff, right? Gonna shoot some videos and, and about guitars. Yeah, well, you probably should like find a strap or something to you know to support. Oh wait, the wait, wait, wait! I think I I found my favorite strap here. Yeah, really? Yeah. I think I'd prefer like a, it to like the guitar one scene. One. No, no, it's, uh, I think it's like nylon, like, you know, kind of cheap. It's Vintage like, though? Yeah, probably, I'm not sure, it's like 10 bucks. Really, that's a steal, yeah, yeah. you should get it. I actually have it in my hands. You wanna see it? Yeah, show me. <laughs> Howdy ho! <laughs> South Park fans out there? Cheers, man. Okay. Oh, it was awesome. Really? No. So we started shooting. Andy yeah. is going around with Simon and they're checking out the shop and Simon's explaining everything. I'm on a mission here. Uh, Andy figured he wants me to find my dream guitar, the guitar that speaks to me most in the shop. And also I have to find one that I think would have been his first choice. So uh, let's see if I figure out what he fancies. You will see me play all the guitars through and um, if you want to find out which two are the favorites, like in my opinion Andy's favorite and my favorite, you have to watch the Toman video that is going to uh, be online on the Toman channel, Toman Music on YouTube. Which guitar should I grab? I mean it has to be a telly.
Magical guitar, man. In case you were wondering how small actually Andy is, uh, nah, this small, this small. Uh, this has been just fantastic. There's nothing else to it? say apart from come here and try stuff for yourself. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's been so awesome. Thank you, Guitar Point, and now you guys. Thank you for watching. First of all, please subscribe and hit the bell. Am I right? You gotta smash it. Yeah. <clears throat> And uh, that helps me a lot. And uh, you know, just come back for all kind of all kinds of cool stuff here on my channel. Check out on this channel. Check out the Toman channel for the actual video. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Drop some channel names. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Take it easy.